Hello everyone, and welcome to Off. Okay, so we've been hammering out a few long series lately, and I kind of want to tackle a few short ones that are pretty damn great. And Off is a pretty obscure, lesser known horror RPG, and it really deserves more love than it gets. So we're going to jump straight in. No context. If this text is hard to read, please exit the game and install the font files in the games folder. Um, I think it's fine. I'm good. Caution, it is possible that certain scenes in this game are shocking to an unwarned public. Or maybe not. The musical pieces and sound effects of Off, created by alias Conrad Coldwood, are an important part of the game. It would be a shame to play without them. Unproductive fun time. Hmm. Enter your name. My name is oh. Okay, there we go. It'd be nice if I could use the D-pad. name is Shade. Your name is Shade, correct? Yes, I'm a boy. All right, welcome Shade. You've been assigned to a being called the Batter. The Batter has an important mission. Be sure that it's accomplished. We will let you out in Zone Zero. Good luck. For more information, find the one called the Judge. To move your body, use the arrow keys on your keyboard using a controller bra. To interact with the environment, use the space bar or the enter key. Again, controller bra. Zone zero. I'm going to tell you right now, this game is messed up, and you'll see quickly. There cannot be any other living beings in Zone Zero, so I must assume that the, you are only a mere figment of my imagination. Nevertheless, I will introduce myself. I'm the judge, and I am aching to know your name, dear illusionary interlocutor. I'm the Batter. I have been assigned to a sacred mission. It is a pleasure, however, it is not the puppet I was addressing, but the puppeteer controlling it. What is your name, dear puppeteer? His name is Shade. He can't talk to us. However, he can hear and see everything. Even though you too are but an inexistent apparition in my eyes, let it be said that I am delighted to meet you as well, dear Shade. I believe we're in need of your services. Many people are in need of my services, you know. Everybody loves cats. We rub ourselves against their legs and purr in the most insistent manner. They adore that. I'm not talking about that kind of help. I see! But what kind of services could I offer to an ectoplasmic entity? I have a sacred mission to fulfill. I must purify the world. There is no objective more laudable than yours. I accept to serve you as a guide through this area, if it is of any help to you. Thanks. Okay then. It's impossible to get around the obstacle. A luck ticket has been found. Quite peculiar. Very peculiar. Allow me to confess that I find you quite tangible for a phantasmorial being. Might you be in fact a creature of flesh and blood? I think so, yes. 
so I, by, I have been mistaken from the beginning. You did not even interrupt me in my deluded phantasms. This is relatively bizarre, I must say, for you are the first living being I was given a chance to encounter in this loop. I had, in fact, concluded that Zone Zero was an empty land. Obviously, I was misled. However, there, are, there exist other zones, and in those territories, the risk of hostile individuals attacking you in the most violent manner is quite high. You, your sacred mission will likely lead to these lands. Would you like me to teach you the art of violent confrontation? Sure. Purification in progress. This here is the battle screen. As you can observe, you will find yourself placed on the right hand of the screen. Your opponent, however, in this case, yours truly, will be located on the left, the correct place for a single combat. At the beginning of combat, you will be confronted with a choice. You have to decide whether to attack, auto, or flee. Attack naturally permits you to engage the fight in the classical fashion. If auto is your decision, the computer will make the strategic choices in your place, making you simply the spectator. Finally, flee, as its name indicates, is the option of the coward. I die hot this alternative. But now it is the time for the offense. Choose attack, select the batter, and then choose attack anew on top of me with your bat. Do not alt utilize the auto function. The computer will not hold back, and I would take the risk of dying, taking my secrets with me to the grave. Excellent, dear sportive companion. You must consider the fact that the batters and the enemy's levels determine the impact of your assaults. It is possible that you or your adversaries could avoid the barrage of attacks that you will throw at each other with slyness. On occasion, your cast iron will get a critical hit, which will cause teeth to fly in heaps. But let us move on, if you are willing to. You may have noticed that when you chose attack for the first time, after you selected the batter, a new window opened itself on the lower right hand side of the screen. There you will have the choice between four new options. Attack leads to a soul strike against a likewise soul adversary. Competence permits you to use one of your special skills. Objects will grant you access to the items you are currently carrying. And finally, yet again, the opportunity to flee. But remember, solely the batter is responsible for that option in his personal menu. How about trying to utilize an object? Take this lock ticket and use it on the batter's person with gratitude. Impeccable! Your mastery of battle borders on brilliancy, my friend. But there is but one thing we have not addressed. I am of course talking about competence. They are generally, in layman's terms, special moves. They can trigger surprising effects, they may indicate a resurgence of health points, or they may be, and of themselves, powerful attacks. Nevertheless, know this. Any use of competence leads to the consumption of competence points, CP. So I ask that you use these skills sparingly. Once your CP are completely consumed, it will be impossible to carry out these heavy assaults. And if you happen to cross swords with a tougher opponent before being able to get some more CP, victory will be uncertain. But try it right away. Choose competence and try using the wide angle, which will allow you to analyze your enemy. The Judge, an odd appearing cryptic cat. 300 health, 30 CP, no weaknesses. <laughs> you know, you now know not only all about me, but also about the art of combat. About the wide angle. Know that its analysis will always be based at the start of battle, thus, it may accidentally analyze adversaries you have already knocked off for a long time. The confrontation ends, theoretically, when the health points of your team, or all of your opponents, fall to zero. Take good care of your health if you want to have a successful career in purification. From now on, you will be ready to crush your impure obstacles that get in your luminous mission's way. Well, supposing your intelligence is on the same level with your undeniable cap 
cap capability of dealing bat blows to an innocent cat. Be it as it may, your training has not reached its end yet. Let me ask you to follow me if you still want me as your guide. Okay. Ah yes, to pass through here you need to use your cerebral organ. You know, the one bathing flabbily in your tired cranium. I believe those floating blocks correspond to the symbols as you can see on the wall, in some way or another. Ahaha, <laughs> finally! After all that exertion, the eagerly awaited recompense, and recompense makes its entrance to the scene. <laughs> Just starts stuffing its little kitty face. Crunch. Nom. Nom. Crunch. I see. A piece of silver flesh has been found. Four four eight two eight seven C. I feel like I should be writing this down, so I will. Four four eight two eight seven C. C for clam chowder. an accessory that is going to be especially helpful on your purifying quest, dear enlightened student and supportive friend. It is a cube hovering in midair, as you have likely noticed. Nevertheless, you will be able to differentiate it from similar ones by the contrast of bad taste it imposes on your view of the clashing colour, defying any sensible course of plastic arts. However, do not judge it too quickly, because despite its criti criticizable appearance, this red cube is of undeniable use. Aside from rendering you the entirety of your help and competence points, it is capable of saving your progress and sending you to the nothingness. The nothingness is in lieu of transition outside of space itself, where you can travel from one point to another at the speed of light. I now invite you to try it out in order to discover locations more populous than this deserted land. Open your wings, my dear companion, and hurry away towards the following zones without hesitation. Your only enemy is the fear that will grab you. Okay. Do not worry, I too will travel a lot through the different zones of the world. We will newly meet one another eventually, without a doubt. Ah, by the way, take this! It is an object of a curious name. Will be the key that permits you to enter Zone 1. Have I clarified that you can at any time consult your inventory and characteristics by pressing the escape key? The Leo card has been found.
well, that is creepy. Zone 1, Zone 2. Oh, I don't like that. Evil whispers. The room. That is horrifying. Okay, okay, enough of that. On we go. Oh, it's a rainy green zone. Train one is a really useful means of transport to get around zone one. Please select your destination, Damien. Train 2 hasn't been active for a long time. Uh, uh, visitor. I, uh, welcome to the smoke mines. Uh, may I know who you are? Are, are you an inspector? No, I'm the batter. I've come to exterminate the impure spirits. The, the batter? The impure spirits? Are you some kind of prophet? Perhaps a man of belief? Yeah, something like that. I... who sent you? Nobody. I'm being led by Shade. Uh, I don't know him. He must be a member of the superior personnel. In, in any case, that's good. It means our requests have been acknowledged. Here, I'm going to explain your task. Um, here at the smoke mines of Damien, the southern part of Zone 1. Here we send wor workers into deep tunnels to unearth metal from the ground, freeing embedded smoke that was trapped in the depths. Thanks to a variety of tools, we were able to put some of it into bottles, which the Queen sends to the other zones. The rest of it flows free, forming the air that our lungs inhale and exhale. Ha! <laughs> so we can live. As the first of four elements, it's an important element. The element of smoke. Okay then. Because without smoke, people would have nothing to breathe. Ah, uh, there we are. And so, finally, uh, how do I put this? Where are the impures? Ah, uh, yes. There we go. Are uh, there are many specters in the mines. They're becoming more and more aggressive. But, uh, in fact, it would be better if you didn't enter the mines because because the regulations forbid visitors to access them. So, uh, here's what we're going to do. There's an annex tunnel that nobody ever goes to, but a miner went in there some time ago. He saw something strange, he said. Nothing like the usual. So I thought, may maybe it's the chief of the specters. Uh, so there's your task. If you accept, you go to the Annex Tunnel and kill the Chief of the Spectres. Then the Spectres will disappear, and we can work properly again. There you go. There we, uh... Do you have any questions? No. Ah, uh, great. Impeccable. The tunnel is right down there. I'll wait here. Soon I'll be promoted. I'll be a supervisor in Alma. I'm anxious for that day to arrive. Okay then. Well, well, who do we have here? Is that not Shade in his picturesque jumping jack, the batter? Are you the Spectre's leader? 
<laughs> no, no, certainly not. I am only passing through, not unlike the smoke which is being extracted from this pale and metallic place. However, I believe I know where the one you are taking for an ectoplasm can be found. To tell you the truth, I am perplexed. I think it is one of those peculiar option objects called a spherical add-on. I have very well tried to approach it, but the operation has failed systematically so far. But I am thinking maybe you, one who does not have a physical order, will succeed in affiliating the spiritual entity to yours. Add-on Alpha has joined you. What an exceptionally intriguing phenomenon! I must admit, I remain perplexed by this unexpected metaphysical reaction. Fair enough, since it has decided to accompany you, I know only to advise you of the best way to make usage of it. Understood. The Chief of the Spectres isn't here. Sorry, but I fear I may have responded in the negative. Apart from this add-on, I have not crossed the way of a single soul in this loop. Oh, it's a party member. Okay. There is nothing here in this sort of spot that I particularly enjoy. What are you looking for? What you are looking for is certainly located elsewhere. Then we shall look elsewhere. Ah, you're back. So have you killed the uh, chief of the specters? No. He wasn't there. Uh, oh, really? I... Bugger. Crap. I... Well, uh... I believe that I'll have to let you enter the main gorges then. But, um... The regulations oppose it. Alright, I... I suppose this is a very special case, as stated in paragraph 5, so, uh... Good. Well... The main mines are... Are on the right. There. Okay, you... There are phantoms down there. They keep us from working properly. But now, it's break time for me anyways. What are you doing here? Are you the mine inspector? You've come to eliminate the specters. That's good news. The lamps don't always work in the endmost corridors, and since everything looks the same around here, it's easy to get lost. There are phantoms in every corridor. Be careful, mister. And besides, who has let you enter? Normally the regulations prohibit external visitors. Oh, shush. Show yourselves, corrupted children. I'm the voice of forgiveness that'll eliminate your calamitous forms. Prepare yourselves to suffer my judgment. Oh, okay then. Let's go with order. very loud. I'm gonna have to check the episode after we're done with this. I might have to drop the volume a little bit. We'll see how we go. Adversaries purified. Nice. Four lock tickets. This add-on is fighting by my side. That's practical. Let's purify the other galleries. i 
Hexapus and A. Oh, goodness. stand to do a bit of grinding, but I'll do that between episodes. Hey buddy. I, I'm working. I'm being productive. I keep doing that. Oh. Hi. a healing move. Oh, we're not going that way. There's a door, but it seems locked from the inside. Oh, shit. sadly <laughs> but yeah anyway as you can see from this game it's kind of let's go with quirky <laughs> very unique but it's also not super long either so I'm expecting like five six episodes maybe maybe a little bit more maybe a little bit less who knows but I've been putting this one on for a little while and there's no good reason other than I've just been doing a few series that are a little bit longer than normal. Hell yeah, give me them luck tickets. But before anything else, I need to go and heal. And get my boy back to life. I'll probably do some grinding as well between episodes. First base has been acquired. Sweet, and he's back to life again. Good old Alpha. 
Alrighty guys, I'm gonna call out an episode there anyway. If you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that notification bell to stay up to date with episodes, and we'll see you in the next episode of Off. This game is weird, and it's gonna get weirder, but it's gonna be fun. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching.